about to start our trip to Florence. It's a beautiful snowy day. It's not snowing anymore, but we have the remnants. But the whole, all Vicenza's, all Vicenza's covered in snow. All right, here we go. All right, we made it to the Uffizi Gallery. We're about to go in. Peyton went to the bathroom. We all made a pit stop. We're good to go. Here we go. Peyton's favorite part of the gallery. The rope. So this is Giotto's uh, altarpiece, the Madonna and Child. So Peyton's gonna tell us about this piece, right, Peyton? Yeah. What She's listening to it. <laughs> well, this is a late medieval work. Before the Renaissance, paintings were not meant to be beautiful. They were meant to communicate theological uh, points. So this is the angel appearing to Mary. Peyton appreciating the altarpiece. So this is the adoration of the Magi. And you can see it's super colorful in the um, late Gothic. This is from the piece, Madonna with Child. And this is, he's starting to change a little bit. And it's like uh, end of the 1400s. And he's painting Mary as a more beautiful person, not just needing a halo to show that she is uh, a very pure of heart, very important. So here's Poleolo's work of Hercules. And we're moving into a time of the Renaissance where there are no more Madonnas. It's just people. This is one of Botticelli's really famous works, The Allegory of Spring. So this is one of Botticelli's main works. You also see the change of influence um, from Mary to more of the Greek gods and goddesses, which is important for us going into like Venus coming up. Here's Botticelli's um, The Birth of Venus. You can see that it, although she's naked, it's, it's more of like an innocent nakedness as she floats towards the sea to be covered in dress and the winds on the left are blowing her out of the sea. What do you think, Peyton? Peyton, do you like it? Peyton. Done. What do you think? So after Medici died, there was a monk, Sabatarola, that came in and taught that all the Renaissance stuff had to end. And so Botticelli's kind of capturing it with this painting about uh, the dark statues kind of throwing away a lot of the Renaissance people in the paintings and statues in the back of the poem. Venus is behind these two wrestling guys. And then is that Apollo? Next one. They were on the right here. There's Venus straight ahead. You're looking out the window of the Uffizi and you can just barely see the dome of the Duomo right there. Cool view of Ponte Vecchio over the Arno River. It's a rainy day. Alright, overview in the Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio. That's why. Ah. So these are all first century uh, reproductions of 500 BC uh, marble statues. They're, they're Roman reproductions of Greek statues that all inspired the Renaissance. And little Peyton is fascinated with it all. Peyton's favorite part of the gallery, the rope. This is Michelangelo's The Holy Family. Uh, Michelangelo's paintings are said to be sculptures with clothes on. <laughs> Here is artwork done of Martin Luther and his wife Catherine, Katharina von Bora. Here's a Madonna and Child painted by Albrecht Durer, who also did Praying Hands. Tinto here was trying to warn the Trojans about the Greeks coming in, but the gods were cheering for the Greeks, so they sent serpents to kill him and his sons. So the Trojans lost. So we're on top of the cafe at the Uffizi yep. Gallery. It's supposed to be one of the prettiest overlooks in the summertime because we have the 
main fortress right here to our side, and then back behind us you can see the Duomo and the Plateau. This is a marble piece by Bernini. This is Madonna with Goldfinch, or Madonna with Child in St. John. I don't know what this guy down here that he's doing in the corner. This is Da Vinci's Annunciation. And Saren Payton is Leonardo's Annunci Annunciation, babe. Yep, and Gabriel came to tell Mary that she's going to have a baby. Okay, we got the Payton back up and going. Right, Payton? Yep. Got her back. Here's the hall of, uh, here's Peter Paul Rubin's self portrait, and here's two Rembrandts. All right. So we came here a year and a half ago, and there's a giant turtle right here. Even though and that sounds kind of weird, I know there was because you can look at her videos. And Peyton was still in my belly. Now we got the Peyton. After being around Europe for a little bit, this is still one of the prettiest cathedrals. Yeah, the Firenze Duomo is probably one of my favorites. The marble is really beautiful here, right Peyton? Yep. She loves Okay. Alright, we gotta say bye to Frenzy. Florence. Hey, ciao. Hey, ciao.